our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Poirier 25, McGregor 26. McGregor will have a two inch reach advantage. Once again, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. You can touch gloves at this time if you wish. Let's do it. Man, they have been on each other's nerves for weeks. It has just escalated throughout the week. We're about to hit the climax. This fight between Poirier and McGregor. Here we go! White trunks for the wow. very entertaining Conor McGregor. Immediately, McGregor opens up with a hook kick. Yes, yeah, southpaw, southpaw. Spinning back nice. kick to the body. And again, Poirier has the most wins and most finishes in UFC featherweight history. Nice leg kick by Poirier. The Americans getting behind Dustin Poirier. Nice kick. McGregor looking for the combination. Uniquely effective with his hands. He's so loose. Yeah. Even, you know, like a high profile fight like this. Look how relaxed he is in there. He was supposed to fight Cole Miller. Diego Brandau stepped up. Connor wanted Dustin Poirier to fight in Ireland. Well, you know what? That's even that storyline. He's here standing in front of him tonight. Another nice leg kick by Poirier. Ooh, good left hand by Connor. Oh! Good shot there by Poirier. And another shot that lands for McGregor. Joe, Connor McGregor said he's really worked on his kicks for this fight. Oh, he tagged him on yeah. the left, Mike. He heard and him. up top. He hurt Poirier with that left. He's very good at utilizing all of his reach, turning that shoulder, fighting long. 90 seconds in. Right in front of him. He's talking to him now. Oh, yeah. Hands at his hips. Having oh, a conversation. Looking to finish the fight. That's it. It it's is over. all over. Just like that. Wow. That's the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. Conor McGregor is for real. An entire country is standing on their feet right now. And he really did just make it look easy. He said he would make it look easy. He made it look easy. That's the real deal. He said, first round KO, mark my words. All right, Conor, we believe you. I mean, that was just glorious. It's the way he did that. No one's ever done that to Poirier before. Poirier is protesting it, but it was an absolutely legitimate stoppage. He was out. Man. I mean, he, Poirier's still on wobbly legs. He's still having a hard time standing up here. Look, he's leaning forward, pitching forward and back. McGregor's the real deal, man. There's no doubt about it. It looks like he grazed him with that. There's hammer fists. There's a left. There's another left that hurt him. That, that was hard to see what that was. It looked like he threw a punch and he grazed him. Let's see, let's see this. It clipped him right behind the ear. And there's a hammer fist to the ear. 
There's a punch, and another punch to the jaw. I think what Poirier is trying to say was that it was behind the ear, or that it was behind the head, but it looked like a legitimate punch. I mean, it w wasn't like he was a downed opponent that he was right. trying to hit behind the head. It was just a punch that was thrown while Poirier was moving that caught him behind the ear. And that we've seen that before, like a Randy Couture Brock Lesnar. Or Lister. like a head kick. A yes. lot of head kicks land on the back of the head. Absolutely. That, that was a legit shot. And he was dominating the fight up until that moment. Four straight now for Conor McGregor. Dennis Bermudez, winner of seven straight fights in the UFC's featherweight division. The champion, six, his future challenger, five. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the notorious Conor McGregor.